Hey guys, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the House of Aaron. <laughs> Welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. I am super excited because today we have a really good video. We are going to be talking about Tasha K versus Armand Wiggins, okay? I don't know how many times I've talked about them, but y'all, we finna dead this beef for once and for all. I also want to get into some things when it comes to singer Tanache. And y'all, she is really going in on Miss Kendall Jenner's, okay? Yes, Kendall Jenner's with an S. And then also, we really have to talk about these remixes, okay? Doja and Nick are really trying to come after Megan and Beyonce. So we got to talk about it all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And let's get straight into the video. All right, you guys. So let's get right into it. I'm super excited. I actually haven't made a video in like three, four days. And that's because every time I make one, it's just like, I don't like it. Like if I don't like the way I look, if I don't like what I'm talking about, if I don't like what I'm wearing, I will literally scrap that shit. And I'll be feeling bad for y'all because I know y'all want some tea. Y'all want some entertainment a lot of y'all are still locked down in quarantine so i'm gonna try to get these videos out for you so let's get straight into it tasha k versus armand wiggins for the 100th time i'm sick and i'm tired of these two bitter ass bloggers because it's just it doesn't make any sense at this point it's kind of like kenya and nini okay well who would be the kenya um i think the kenya would be are mine. <laughs> I guess Tasha K would kind of be considered the OG in the situation because she's older. She's has more experience with the blogging game, I guess. And so I think Tasha K would be the Nini. And then you have the young little firecracker, okay, trying to be the queen of the whole entire franchise, Miss Armand Wiggins over here just acting a mess, acting a fool. Okay, so at the end of the day, I just want to do this disclaimer because I know I'm gonna have a lot of Tasha K fans and a lot of Armand Wiggins fans coming at me. And I actually do need to talk about y'all in the comments because y'all be wilding and coming after me and really saying some out-of-pocket shit. But we'll get to that in a second. Just a disclaimer, I'm not on Team Nobody, okay? I couldn't care less about Armand Wiggins or Tasha K. I'm talking about this because it's entertaining, it's messy, and we gotta spill the tea. So, a couple nights ago, Armand went live, okay? And he was talking about the whole thing between Neek at Night and Tasha K, okay? I wasn't really into it because, honestly, I'm gonna be real honest. I don't even know who Nick at Night is. Okay, shoot me. I don't know who that is. Throw tomatoes at me. Um, I don't know who she is, though. So I was really confused on why Tasha K is beefing with Nick at Night, and I was confused on why Armand Wiggins is covering it. But I was, you know, here for the mess. So I was watching Armand's live of the mess the other day. But the funny thing about it is he could not stay on topic. Okay, he could not stay on topic. He was trying to explain why Tasha was coming after Nick at Night and trying to explain why Nick at Night was doing this, that, and the third. But he could not stay on topic because he has his own personal vendetta against Tasha K. He has his own personal woes with her, okay? And if you ask me, he feels hurt, okay? The man is hurt. He feels some type of way. It just honestly looks like he needs a hug, an apology, some type of reconciliation because he really does not like this woman, Tasha K. And he could not stay on topic about Tasha and Nick at night because he kept trying to insert his own personal drama inside the story. So Armand's live was basically him ranting and raving about Tasha K and how she has no integrity and how she's evil and she has no morals and she has no character and blah 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 okay y'all remember that Kesha song blah 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 okay that was basically the whole live okay you're supposed to be explaining what's going on with Nika at night but yet you talking about she has no integrity and how y'all fell out and this that and the third okay I didn't come here for this but you know what since you're ranting and raving about it I'll listen, Miss Thang. I will listen. With that being said, y'all, okay, after he did that, child, the clown came back to bite. All right, when you do clownery, the clown came back to bite, okay? Tasha K came back to fight, and I guess she did this live video on YouTube or wherever she was at and went the fuck in, okay? She went in because she was like, you know what? I'm tired of this boy getting on his platform questioning my integrity, questioning my credibility, will you not shit your damn self? And she was really going in, like the insults were like pow, 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 she was not sparing anything. She said that Armand, okay, be wearing the same two outfits. She said Armand, okay, is living in a house that's too expensive, that's why he can't afford no other outfits. And then she started talking about his face and his gums, and I was just like, 
Now you know what, Tasha? You ain't have to do all that. You didn't have to do all that. You didn't have to talk about the boys' gums, okay? You didn't have to talk about the boys' same two outfits. But actually, when she said the thing about the same two outfits, I was looking at myself and like, damn, well, what do I be wearing? Because honestly, I be wearing the same two outfits. Like, I wear my same. Y'all know my wardrobe. I be wearing the same of UCLA um, hoodie that I got over there. I be wearing the same crew neck, V-neck, black, okay? All black, everything. I be wearing the same hoodies. I be wearing the same everything, okay? And it's not that I don't have clothes. It's just, I just don't feel like putting them on. Like, I don't feel like iron. Like, that's the thing. I don't feel like ironing. So I'm always down for a good hoodie. And I'm always down for a good t-shirt that does not require ironing or any type of prepping because I don't have time for that, okay? I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't have the space. All in all, I just think that this whole thing is just very, very, very petty. Call these two hoes Petty LaBelle, all right? Petty One and Petty Junior. It's a mess. And it's just like, when is y'all gonna get this up? Like, y'all y'all don't even understand the gravity of this because it has been happening, okay? These two have been bickering back and forth forever now. And I've covered it multiple times and I'm gonna quit covering it, okay? But here's the thing. And this is just my observation. These two really have some type of care for each other. They have to the way that they keep going back and forth because it's ridiculous. Armand wants some type of apology for something. Okay, I don't know what that something is. Rumor has it that, you know, when he was, you know, fresh starting off as a blogger on YouTube, he seeked out Tasha K's help. And I guess Tasha K just kind of turned on him. Okay, she said, I'm a savage. Classic bougie. From my perspective and how I understand it, um, it was one of those things where, you know, she started to help him and started to mentor him and they started to have some sort of relationship, but then kind of just flipped his ass like a pancake, okay? Um, flipped on his ass and acted like I don't know him, okay? Kind of like how Nene was doing Kenya, okay? Kenya thought that she was good friends with Nene. And then when Kenya saw Nene at the function and tried to hug her, Nene was like, what is you doing, girl? Like, oh, okay, carry a couple wet wipes because her bum try to touch me, tease. All right, and so I feel like it was a situation like that, and these two cannot let whatever they got going on go, okay? And it's just a mess, so. I just think that we should really, as a community, okay, as fans of all these people, we should really try to get them back on the same track and get them to have a conversation about everything because, what y'all not gonna do is just keep going back and forth, going back and forth because it's ridiculous, it's petty, and it's just honestly a waste of time. Y'all are too grown, okay? Especially you, Tasha K, looking like Lil Grinch, okay? Have y'all seen The Grinch Stole Christmas, the live action one where The Grinch was a little boy? Okay, y'all saw his hairstyle? That's exactly how Tasha K looks, and it's just a hot ass mess, like, girl, Okay, I don't know who be doing your hair, but it's time for a revamp. It's 2020, okay? Hi, my name is Barbara Walters, and welcome to 2020, bitch. It's time for a new hairstyle. You need to grow out of this little Grinch phase and do something else with that hair because it's just it's, it's just not doing it for me, okay? And I just had to go in on Tasha since she's talking about the boy got gums. It's a mess. Let's move right along. Okay, so let's move on to... Tanache versus Kendall Jenner, okay? So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because there's really nothing to talk about, but I wanted to show you guys this tweet. So a fan put up a picture of Tanache and Miss Kendall Jenner's, yes, Kendall Jenner with an S, and they said, can you imagine going from point A to point B like da 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 da? Okay, basically trying to shade the whole situation involving Ben Simmons, okay? Ben Simmons was dating good sis Tanache, and then he left Tanache's ass and was like, deuces, okay, shout out to Chris Brown. Went over there to the Kardashian clan, started dating Kendall Jenner's, um, and Tanache was very upset about it. She's talked about it several times, and she said after that whole situation, um, she had sort of a battle with alcohol and stuff like that. She was starting to use alcohol to help cope because I think she fell into some type of mini depression and a lot of people didn't understand why she would feel some type of way about a boy not talking to her anymore but y'all really trying to act like a boy hasn't been in y'all's life and made y'all feel some type of way and made y'all you know feel sad okay it's happened to the best of us we've all dated and talked to guys they fucked up and did us wrong and um we were never the same after that okay our hearts will forever be fractured and that's what happened to our good sis, Tanache. Of course, Tanache being messy, okay? The messy, messy, messy girl that she is, she commented under the tweet and was like, I just spit out my water. 
Now, girl, I just threw my phone. You know good and damn well you don't need to be under nobody tweet, okay? Talking about Kendall Jenner's, Kim Kardashian's, Chris, and the rest of the crew because, child, they finna drag you, hunty, okay? Because I feel like every time Tanache says anything about this situation, I feel like anytime she ever, like, complains or vents or does anything on the internet, she gets drug for still and you know what i'm sick of it okay y'all need to let tanache have her fun remember when she um made a joke i think she made a joke about northwest i think northwest was dancing or singing or something and tanache made a really funny comment about it and everybody just went ham and went in on her because i guess they felt like you don't need to be talking about a child but it was very light-hearted it was very jokey jokey it was very like fun shade like it was cute it wasn't malicious at all but i feel like they finna go after you girl okay and Nasha, they finna go after you because you know you need to leave this whole situation alone and stop being messy, okay? I love Tanasha if you haven't noticed already. And last but not least, we need to get into some things when it comes to Doja Cat. Okay, shout out to Doja Cat. Y'all, if you haven't listened to Doja Cat's album, Hot Pink, what the f are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Go ahead and listen to her album, y'all. It's so so good one of the best rap albums in a very long time female rap albums okay that i can remember okay i think the last one that i really liked was um Nicki minaj queen and then the one before that was cardi b's album invasion of privacy which i actually did like cardi b's album like i ain't gonna even lie it was her debut it was very highly anticipated and i was here for it doja is coming for the crown okay with hot pink and whatnot so of course her song say so it's blowing up the charts you know it's a crossover pop hit it went crazy on TikTok and I believe it's top five on Hot 100 Billboard. So shout out to our girl Doja Cat. She announced that Nicki Minaj is going to be on the remix of Say So, which I'm super excited about because I feel like Doja is very heavily influenced by Nicki Minaj, especially on this Hot Pink album. First off, the album name is Hot Pink, okay? Everybody knows Nicki Minaj is Pink Friday. In her flow and her melody and the way she raps is very Nicki Minaj-esque when, um, you know, Nicki had Roman and the fairy godmother and all those characters. Like, it's very cartoony, very animated, very fun very flirty um and so i think doja and nikki being on this say so remix is going to be everything i'm not sure when it's going to come out maybe it'll come out this weekend but i'm super excited for it here's the shady part though doja announced this remix with Nicki minaj just as megan the stallion dropped her remix of savage with the queen beyonce okay doja and megan are winning okay they got the queen of rap and the queen of r&b both on these tracks and the summer is gonna be cute because we're gonna be blasting these songs all the way up until September. But that being said, okay, the Megan Thee Stallion song Savage with Beyonce is really good, okay? And I usually don't like it when Beyonce raps, but this, okay, this right here? Now you did that, okay? You did that, Miss Beyonce and Miss Megan Thee Stallion. It is a really good song. Um, But here's the thing, why did Doja announce her remix right when Megan's remix dropped? Okay, I'm just a little bit confused. Were you trying to steal Megan's thunder, Miss Doja Cat? Okay, Miss Dojo? Were you trying to steal her thunder? Do you have something against Megan and Beyonce? You just had to do it on the same day, on the same hour, at the same minute. Doja, Simon is real suspicious about that. But you know what? I am here for the female unity. I am glad that you guys are bringing us the remixes and the collaborations that we have so badly wanted for a long time. But here's the thing. We still waiting on this Rihanna album. Rihanna? You didn't get a get out of jail free card, okay? We still waiting on this album. And can we finally, for the culture, get the Holy Trinity to be all on one track, okay? Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, and Beyonce. Cause I'm sick of y'all trying to avoid the inevitable. So I wanna know what you guys think about Megan and Beyonce's new song. And are we excited for Nicki and Doja's Say So remix also? How do you guys feel about Tanache versus Kendall Jenner's and her petty ways on Twitter? And who you got, Armand Wiggins or Miss Tasha K, AKA Lil Grinch? I don't know what you guys think down in the comments below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to create a great day. Bye.